Welcome back to WordPress Made Easy. In this video, we're talking about settings in WordPress. Now, when you get a new WordPress site installed, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do before adding pages or posts is to adjust a few basic settings. So let's get acquainted right away. From the sidebar, choose Settings and then select General. On this screen, you can change the name of your site as well as give it a tagline that'll show up in your tab if you have any room left over after your site name. Now, I'll typically leave everything else here at default with the one exception being setting the time zone. This way, any posts that you release will have the correct time on them. And it's also important for things like emails that go out. All right, next let's head over to settings and then choose reading. Now, after you've added a few pages to your site, you might want to hop back over here, but on this screen, you can choose what page loads when you go to your root URL. Basically, you can set up your homepage to be a specific page on your WordPress website. You can choose between your latest posts or a static page. Additionally, if you don't want to show up on Google or Bing, you can check the box that says discourage search engines from indexing this site. Sometimes I'll do this for sites that are still in development so that they're not prematurely revealed by a sneaky Google search. Next, let's talk about permalinks or the structure that your site is using when it's naming each individual page on your URLs. Now, this might seem a little bit nerdy, but it's actually really helpful to search engines if your pages have easy to understand names. And trust me, there really is only one good choice when it comes to the link structure inside of WordPress. And for some strange reason, it's not the default choice. So let's go ahead and change that. Choose settings from the left sidebar and then select permalinks. You're going to want the option that says post name. Click the radio button next to it and then scroll down to the bottom of the page and click save changes. Next, let's update one of the URLs or the slug of a post that we created in a previous video. Click on post and then choose edit next to our post. Now, if you click on the post title, a smaller box is going to appear that says permalink. And here we can edit the permalink or the slug. It's kind of a common name for it to be whatever we like. It's best to keep it short and descriptive. And then you just want to remove words like the and or uh. Well, that's it. There's not many settings that you need to do when you're getting going with a WordPress website, but these are some of the essential ones to know about. I'll see you in the next video where we talk about themes inside of WordPress. Stay tuned.